Good morning, y'all. Listen, I got Don King hair this morning. Um, I washed my hair last night, but I don't put product on my hair at night because I don't want to put product on my pillow sheets. Does that make sense? That makes sense. But I look crazy. So y'all forgive the crazy look. Oh, um, Jackson, will you unplug my charger and bring it for mom lovely? Thank you so much. And then please don't forget your dishes because I can't live this life you're trying to live. So it's Saturday morning here and I have, of course, Titus two women this morning. So what I'm going to do now, I changed the kids, um, shower curtain and rugs in their bathroom and i've got this whole pink motif going in my room I actually got a pink bed spread and blue curtains y'all pray for me because something must be wrong with my brain um but what i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna change my stuff as well to be gray so i went to walmart and actually came out cheaper at walmart and i bought a set for my bathroom so i'm gonna change that out but i'm also gonna change out the bed um Covers as well, because I'm just tired of the pink and go back to the white. Um, I do need to strip off the pillow sheets and put those in. And I'm going to change out the curtains as well to just do a gray. Um, and I got to do it. It is 712. I have to be online at 845. And I did read my chapter, so I don't have to do that. But I do got to get dressed because this is not for the people, right? So... You know, like, oh, Shakima, what's going on? Don't worry, honey. This is wash and go. I'm going to wash it and go. But I will put product on it this morning. So it's looking a little rough. And I think I'm actually going to have to end up getting a relaxer before 8 to 10 weeks. It's growing. It's like on this supernatural growth plan. Praise the Lord. Um, But I look rough. I don't have my makeup. I don't have any makeup on. I have no earrings. If I put earrings in, it would change the whole outlook of, of life. Just dropped Alana off at work. So I think I'm gonna take 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do the bed and um, change out the bathroom stuff. Um, I'll wipe the bathroom down when I'm done showering. I'll just go ahead and take a um, swish and swipe and do a Clorox wipe on the sink and on the toilet and be good that way. So I'm gonna take a few moments to do that. Jump in the shower. I took a shower last night, but I have to do my hair. So I'll just jump in, run it under some water real fast. I think I'm going to do some couponing at um, Dollar General today because I got some more coupons in the mail. I have to buy some more hair product anyway, and it's five off of 25. So I'm going to try to see what I can get for the five off of 25 plus some coupons I have. So y'all pray my strength in the Lord because I need to go up in there and do some damage and, and keep most of my money. Um... Yeah, I'm living my best life. That's all I'm saying. Yes, lovely. You gonna help mom? What do you mean no? I make breakfast. What are you making for breakfast? Are you bre breakfasting for mom as well? What are you having? I'm having fried rice with bacon. I can't have. And you're having eggs with bacon. You having bacon? Well, we have bacon. We make, we make bacon. We have bacon? In this house? You're gonna eat it? I was gonna have. Yes, Sit down. Sit with me, lovely. I thought you were vegetarian. Alana said it wasn't worth it. I, I'm here with Alana. I'm, I'm here for it's not being worth it, but whatever. I was going to ask you if you wanted the last of the juice. No, I had coffee. I'm living my best coffee life. Let me do, let me do it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys up on a tripod, change this stuff out real quick, and then I'm going to live my best life.
Alrighty, lovely. So I've gotten the curtains up, the rugs down, uh, the bed changed. I've showered and now I'm going to, I've got jewelry on. So I'm just wearing, uh, um, I'm wearing a long black skirt. I love long skirts. I know I've been wearing shorter things lately, but I have on a long black skirt with just a regular pink tee that I got from Walmart. So I'm just putting on some smelly goods. It's not like nobody gonna be smelling, but, cause I'm in the house. But I like to smell good. One of the things I think that I was talking about on one of my last videos, as far as like, you know, being a woman and, and coming into your femininity, maybe I didn't say it in those words exactly. But, you know, those of us who are praying for our purpose partner, our kingdom connection, uh, we have to start doing stuff, especially those of us who haven't always done things for ourselves. We have to start doing those things before that person comes. Because if you start, you know, after they come, it's not really authentic to you. It's authentic to trying to impress them, keep them, you know, whatever. Um, which I have 100% no interest in at all I want to feel good about me because I want to feel good about me and if they feel good about me then that's a bonus praise God you know then we know we on the right road so I have washed my hair when it when it gets wet it lays down of course everybody's I'm sure so what I'm going to do now is instead of doing it curly like I normally do I just put a little oil on it I don't want it to be, and there's probably some leave-in conditioner from the shower. May not have rinsed it all out, but I'm gonna give I'm gonna attempt a ponytail today. It's not as long as it's ever been, but it's longer than it has been. One of the things about having long hair is I typically tend to wear ponytails a lot. And I don't think that's the purpose of having long hair. But then I don't want to do it. And then, you see what I'm saying? So I keep the long, the short styles because it takes no effort on my part. I can just, you know, get up in the morning, wash it, and I'm out. Out. So I'm putting some gel, just a clear gel. I'll wash it in the morning again. Uh, and I don't know if this is going to work because it is short. But I'm going to try it. We live in the country, they out there shooting. And that's bothering the dog. But we live country, country, honey. So they they just be out there shooting like they live out there or something. I guess they do. I guess they do. So anywho, I have an old bun that I used to wear a while back. So I'm gonna attempt to bun my hair it may work, it may not, but nobody will be able to see it from the back because I'm not going outside, right? Look at Shakima, right? Okay, praise the Lord. Look, y'all. Okay, I see you, girl. So I was looking at some Facebook memories from last year, This, I mean, from four years ago, yesterday, and I was out in Anaheim, California. I was taking some students out there for a competition. Not the most perfect but it'll work for now and um i remember flying into orange county i had never been that far before i've, I've flown before but i had never been that far before and i remember the lord saying shakima get ready because this is what you, you know this won't be your only time because i could have flew flew into lax but he had me fly into anaheim into the airport at anaheim and God told me then, he said, this will not be the only time that you're going to experience this. So get ready for it. And I was like, Lord, what is that? You know, a little girl from nowhere, North Carolina, uh, flying into Orange County, California. I don't know if y'all see the muscles, y'all, but they come and I'm working out every day. 75 hard. I'm living my best life. Okay. I only had two hairpins. That's unfortunate. Jack. Will you look in sister's hair stuff and see if you can find any bobby pins? I only had two hair pins. That is unfortunate. But listen, nobody's going to see it. If the bun fall off, praise God. I'll just, you know, it's, it is what it is. So that's the end of that. And I do have a lot of people 
And I was one of these people um, who, you know, I'm not a big fuss person about what I look like. I prefer to just, you know, get dressed, live my best life and, and move on. You know, I don't want to do a whole lot. Because I've always been on the go with the kids. The kids had somewhere to go. The kids had somewhere to be. I've got to be at the church. You know, all these types of things that had me moving so quickly throughout my life or throughout my days. And I'm no longer in that space anymore, honestly, because we have cut down on a lot of stuff. I know y'all think I'm extremely busy, but I used to be twice as busy, three, four, five times as busy. Um, and I was like, Lord, I just, I can't. I can't maintain this pace um, and I don't want to because maintaining that pace meant I didn't have time in my life for other things. And now I'm ready to receive love. Now I'm ready to uh, walk into this new season. And so I have to be prepared for it. I'm just going to do a light uh, liner today. And uh, clear gloss. Because the pink is soft. I'm gonna keep it soft. Okay, since the pink is a soft, let me go find some powder. Bubbly. Or come look in mom's too, to help me see, make sure I didn't overlook one. I wasn't gonna put any cream on, but I think I'll put, oh gosh, it's 8.14, I gotta move. My uh, room opens at 8.45, which is perfect. I mean, I'm I'm done. I'm just going to have coffee. I wasn't going to put any cream on, but I'm changing my mind. Put a little bit on. I'm already sweating, praise God. Just a base, a little bit of a base. And then I put some powder on to set, and I'm good. So it's these little things. Um, one of my friends, uh, Miss Karen sent me a, uh, a video from Coupon and Crystal uh, where she made a self-care contract for her girls. Uh, I think it was for Christmas or some kind of holiday they were together where you promised yourself some self-care time and you know you promised to take a bath and you pro not take a bath but like a soothing bath or you know just something for you not for the kids not for your husband not for anybody you know all the 50,000 jobs we have to do, but something for you. So for me, a part of my self-care, first of all, I go to the chiropractor. I love, love, love going to the chiropractor. It makes me, my body feel good. And um, I appreciate that 30 minute drive to myself there and back. And my body feels good. So, you know, just a little powder and then makeup. Um, I posted a picture a couple weeks ago on my Facebook and my sister chimed in. She's like, Shakima, what have you been doing with your makeup lately? And I said, girl, wearing it. Wearing it. <laughs> okay, that's all. Nothing different here. I'm just not a big, because it takes time. And I didn't always have, t have time. You know, when Jackson was born, it was get the diaper bag, get the kid. Did you remember the kid? You know, get the car seat, get the milk, get all, look down here, baby. In this um, pull out thing and see if you see any, any hairpins in there for me. I would appreciate it. Okay, mom's gonna come around you, lovely. Thank you so much. Um, and then it was dance and it was taekwondo and it was get the kid. And it's like, well, I'll just be last. It's not always that I have to be last. It's not, not at this season of my life. At 45 with a 17 and a half year old and a 12 year old, uh, they are very self-sufficient. Praise the Lord. I mean, I prayed. When Alana was born, I said, God, I can't go through what I went through with Shamika and Trandon. Shamika was rebellious and Trandon was borderline crazy. I mean, that boy cried every day for four years. Every day. Oh, it was horrible. Horrible, horrible. We couldn't. Oh, it was horrible. And so the Lord blessed me and graced me with Alana. And then when Jackson came, Jackson was just my joy child. He was just happy about life. No, look over here, baby. And, um... That one and see, there may not be any at all. I don't, I don't remember. Pull out the bin. I could have thrown them all away, not having long hair. It's fine either way, but I just would like to check to see. Can you take the stuff out? Just not move it over because it might be, it's a bobby pin. It's really small. Um, so anyway, 
a part of my self-care now is taking that 10, 15 minutes, however long it is, to uh, do my makeup or, you know, ch I change my mind about wearing the makeup or putting on the powder. It's just a quick, I gotta look in this mirror, y'all. A quick moment for me. It's just a Shakima thing. I'm not a big get your nails done, toes done. Although I do have a nail review coming out. Y'all pray for me. I got to get it done. Um, I do like pretty nails. I just don't want to put all that um, gel and acrylic stuff on because it, it ruins my nail bed. That's okay, man. I appreciate you looking though. Jackson, your deodorant is here, luckily. And then would you pick that up? Did you remember to put it on? Perfect because sometimes, oh Jesus, it'd be a bad day. But anywho, just that five, 10 minutes, however long it took to uh, buff out those eyebrows to put on a little bit of soft lip because I'm wearing a softer shirt today. So I just decided to do a soft lip instead of the stark red. Now I've been using uh, Joa is the name of the lips that I've been using. Yeah, Joa. I get this at uh, CVS. And it's a matte, so I'm going to go back and see if there's a, a few other colors that I like. I just have a red, um, but I'm going to see if there's like a, a nude or if there's like a, a burgundy color. I like berries and I like bright, but some days I just want to be soft. And so um, a friend of mine was talking about just the transformation that she's seen in the past months. And, and you know what it truly is more than just an outside thing because I'm up two pounds. I'm up two pounds since yesterday, y'all pray for me, but I had a bad day and I just ate stuff. Um, it, it's what's happening on the inside. It's the inside working its way out. It's the joy of the Lord being my strength and people kind of, you know, able to see that on the outside because I'm not frustrated. I'm not, you know, worried about the, you know, the money and the bills and the kids and this place and that place and dad's not paying child support. You know, all the things that get you, you know, when you finally get to that place in your, in your physical, natural life, but you've gotten there also in your spiritual. You know, I spent a lot of time praying and asking God to help me and a lot of time praying and asking God to lead and guide and direct my life. And things are changing for me. Whether they're changing where people can see, you know, there is no husband yet. That's okay. My heart is changing because there was once a time when I wouldn't even approach a man or even having a man approach me would freak me out. Like, oh my God, what you want? What you, you know, oh, ugh. Or this is somehow wrong and, and the Lord don't want me to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing wrong with talking to, to people. And I would go through these mental breakdowns. Oh, God, a man's going to approach me in church. Well, he, oh, you know, Shakima, calm down, sis. It's good. He just saying good morning. That's all. He don't want nothing. It's perfect. <laughs> Y'all, these mental things I would go through. Anywho, I am going to be sitting down doing a little chit chat with you guys about just the process that I am going through as far as being open to a purpose partner and a kingdom connection. So that video will be coming out shortly. I've got quite a few in the queue. But anywho, I'm going to go get my area set up for this morning's meeting and uh, bring you guys along. Oh, my soul, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, my soul, praise the Lord. Hey, Bubba, it looks like it's going to rain again. Hmm. Must be. All right. Okay. You know what? I need this. Um, I need the, uh, the plug plugged in because it's not plugged. And I left my books under the, okay, under my pillow. Sometimes I read at night in the bed. And um, so I left my books in the bedroom. Taking my shoes off because I have a, this is kind of an oversized chair. Of course, we got this from a friend of ours at church. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of get myself comfy. Um, Jackson, the, the um, book under my pillow and then plug mom in and that's all I'm gonna need. And then let me see if I can't make my, so I've got the ring light, I got my computer. My setup is real simple. You know, uh, there's a lot better YouTubers that do all the things. I don't have time for that and no space in this house for it. Um, 
But if there's some, some of you lovelies out there that are thinking about, you know, if the Lord is telling you to do something, you know, in this venue, in this vein, people think, oh, I got to have all of this to get started. It is very simple. I have my cell phone, which I do all my videos on. I've got my computer and my ring light. Really, that is the bulk of my setup. Now, could it, could it be more professional? I'm sure it could. But I don't have time for that. Would you plug me in? No, it's not the pillow. What was it, lovely? On the desk. On the desk. I made the bed. That's right. You know what else? You got to have a haircut. And I don't know if I'm trying to navigate Black Man Barbershop on a Saturday. Oh, glory to God. Like, that just, mm, that don't even make me feel good. All right, there's something so tragic about me trying to roll up in the black man barbershop on a Saturday morning. Well, Lord have mercy, because everybody and their mama is there. So, baby, I think we're going to have to hold them and fold them till Monday, because I got to take Alana for what's your name? She has to go for piano lessons. So, when I go do my walk on the beach, you can go with mom, and then on the way back, we'll stop at the barbershop. How about that? We'll just brush you up real good for tomorrow. We ain't having church anyway. Huh? Come to close not on Saturday. Monday. Yeah, but she goes to the, she goes in the morning to piano lessons. And I'm so glad child support came, so I'm paying for I'm gonna now um well moving forward, I'm just gonna take the money for piano lessons out of child support to this this time, this month anyway. Because I didn't have a lot in my summer budget, which is fine. Okay, I got fifteen minutes. So what I like to normally do is I'll go ahead. I'm shaking y'all some kind of way. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Hey y'all. Um, I'll go ahead and get to my. I go to my Gmail because we use Google Meet. I don't use Zoom. Zoom is uh, an expense. that I'm not trying to pay. So it works out fine. Google Meet works. Google has opened up the Meet link. It used to just be um, in if you had like a business account. But when Zoom started to Zoom, uh, Google Meet opened up for people. And so I've just been using that the whole time. Um, I didn't feel like going into an expense with Zoom. Not that I wouldn't have. I mean, I definitely would have, but this was free and it and it worked just as fine. So um, I go ahead and get my meat link set. I have my book and my notes and anything else that I'm kind of, you know, working on or working towards. We're on uh, chapter eight. I think we have four more weeks in this book. And then, yeah, we are doing Who Are Safe People today. Um, we have four more weeks after today, and then we go into um, Love Dare, which is going to be, you know, for me, it's one of those that I'm looking forward to. It's one of those that I'm, I'm looking forward to going over with the ladies. Okay. And um, just seeing what the Lord has for all of us. And then, of course, I'll just take a few minutes. I'll put on some music. I always like to keep. You got to watch people come strolling through your neighborhood real slow. You got to be like, mm, let me see you. Let me see you because I see you. Um. I do like a soaking in his presence. So I have that going once we open up the room. And then as a general rule, I just like to check my check all my social medias. This is the time I usually do it now. Well, I usually do it earlier. But I have to switch the room out, so.
spelled in a really odd way, but it's actually pronounced Elise. And We're, I've always been called Alice. So really? Just, Let me, I'm going to get it right. Elise. Some people's oh. names I don't even attempt because I already know the name. <laughs> I'll be like, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. I'm not, I got one Miss Bannister. I can't even, I'm not even trying. No, ma'am. I'm not. I'm just going to say, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Be the mess people name up than Jack. And my name is Shakima. And I swear to you, everybody says Shamika. Like, did you not see that K first? Like, the K come. Never. Now, just be you. Just do whatever you want to do. But that's so beautiful. Good morning, y'all. Hey, Miss Katina. Good morning. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. Hey y'all, five minutes and we're going to get started. Good I'm morning. excited about today. I'm always excited. Maybe I live excited. We should be excited about life. We, we woke up this morning. That was Thank not somebody God. else's testimony. So I'm going to be there. Can I put a prayer request out just for the group just real fast? No ma'am. No ma'am. There are no prayer requests allowed. <laughs> no prayers. <laughs> Please. We keep um, my community and here in Detroit lifted up yeah. in prayer. We had major flooding that really is not being covered on the news at all but it was it was horrible six feet eight feet of water in people's basements and um just a lot of damage so wow. if you could keep us in prayer that would be fantastic absolutely i i did see one thing on the news but i haven't seen anything additional and i'm like oh my goodness Whew. but we we sure will yes ma'am I, I have a prayer request too please that's yeah. like, I think one of the hardest thing I've never experienced that, but I, I cannot imagine, um, the, the loss of a child. I, mean, I can't, I, I can't even, you know, I, I've lost my mother, but we were not close, but to think about your child, that's just, it doesn't seem like yeah. God's proper order in my, in my brain. Yeah. She came over here to see my mom because she said she came and sat at the table. She said, Miss Mary, I know nobody knows my pain like you do. Mm -hmm. And mama said, yeah, baby, I know it though too well. I've been there three times. I mean, and your mom too, Sherry, like three times. Yeah, three out of four. Wow. God was with me. Wow. I think, you know, we got to live our life. We Some of us have just put life on hold, waiting for what's coming down the line in the next, you know, next year, next year, next year. Some people are not going to get tomorrow. The Bible tells us tomorrow's not promised. We got to live. I'm not saying be reckless and do all the things, but I'm saying some of us, I'm going to put me in that, just waiting for the right time and the right moment and everything to be all lined up just perfectly square. It may not be like that. So I've just made a decision to live my life, whether anybody else thinks it's right or whether anybody else wants to do it or not, I'm going to live because I don't know if I'm going to be sniffing air tomorrow. I'm just going to live my best life. And yeah, I've made that decision. Right. I'm not going to miss an opportunity. Shakima, yes, ma'am. Um, I just want to put in a request. Uh, everything's going on now. Huh? It's, it's, it's a lot. I mean, it is a lot. And it's, it's like, wow. But I think, I believe that the law, the Lord is, um, he's still on the throne. I believe that, um, our best days are still ahead of us, but I, I do believe in taking advantage of the days that we have now. That in this chapter, it talks about safe people. And uh, we all have the experience of, of, of uh, not having always safe people in our life. And we want to not only have them, but be them. So if anybody wants to uh, open us in prayer, good morning, Antoinette. That would be perfect while I'm watching the, the door for any more people to come in. I would appreciate it if anybody wants to chime in and pray and pray. I see you pressing that button. You know you want to do it. You do I'll do it, it Shakima. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. We just come to you, Heavenly Father. We just Amen. Thank you so much, Nicole. I do appreciate that. You guys, listen, in this season of you all, for as long as the Lord will allow us to be together, one of the things that I would love to see happen is for some of us to come out of our shell. I do realize even in this space that some of us may never ever say one thing. You may never unmute your mic and say anything, but this is a safe space for you to do it if you want to. There are no right prayers. There are no wrong prayers. There's no pray like Shakima. There's it is you and the Lord. So I pray that this is a community where people begin to build themselves up, right? I, the Lord has given it to me to facilitate, but it's not about me. So as, as much as I'm able and uh, as the Lord would direct me, I will give that floor open to anybody. Um, if you have something to say, say it. If you have something to share, share it. If it is, you know, 
in the in the moments or at the end or the beginning of course the room is always open at 8 45 for those who want to jump in and just kind of have a little chit chat beforehand and then most times people are on after 10 30 so you know if you need to share please feel free good morning Sunid. Alrighty, you guys so there it is i'm not going to prolong this vlog i gotta go film two more videos so i'm going to do that right now but just kind of a little bit of getting the house together i always feel like i got a lot happening here i've got some art um, art boxes i need to condense i've got a um review video that i need to do i've got to film a budget update i've got to film a sit down chit chat i've got laundry that needs to happen and it's saturday and i'm like where's my time gonna go but i'm gonna start moving i'm gonna get things done and uh, i haven't even eaten breakfast and it is 11 o'clock so i'm gonna try to eat something get some videos done and um yeah tomorrow is the fourth of july cheat day for us um although i've had a couple cheats in there so i'm going back hardcore whole 30 on the fifth um and i think i'm gonna take some of my fruit out because i think the fruit is just turning into sugar which is causing my body to hold on to it although i am doing two a day workouts with the 75 hard and i am doing weights at least one of those workouts my body is hurting 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 um so i haven't worked out at all today but i do plan to work out today i think i'm gonna walk the dog outside and then i'm gonna do the bike i try not to do weights on the weekends just because i, I do heavy weight training throughout the week so hopefully um i'm not damaging my body and because i don't want to do that i'm on 75 hard day today is day eight for me it should be day 10 but i had to start over so i'm on day eight i finished up seven days and I'm coming right along. So um, I've got my reading material here. Like I said, I'm going to walk the dog this afternoon for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to do the bike for 30 minutes. And that seems to be good. I just do a stationary bike that we've had in the house. I'll put on a show that I want to watch. And I just kind of, you know, do the things to work out some of the soreness. Um, Alana has started weight training with me. Um... Her very first day of weight training was yesterday. She's doing yoga and stretching and doing some of those things to help her limber up for dance because she is going to be taking dance in the fall instead of taekwondo. And so she has started to weight train with mom. I do think I'm going to go ahead and pay for her to join the gym so that when we're waiting for Jackson to go to taekwondo and finish like on Tuesdays and Thursdays, if that is when it because we don't know what fall classes will look like. But whatever days he's doing Taekwondo, then I can go to the gym and she can go with me. And that way we can weight train together. So I told her I believe the weight training will help uh, help her in her journey as well. So anywho, there it is. A lot happening. A few more videos that I got to film. So I'm going to pop out and do that. Uh, we love you guys. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.